Continuing in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 15, verses 27 through 32, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Today is Wednesday, March the 29th, and this is your daily devotion from the Greenbar Valley Church of the Nazarene. Mark, chapter 15, verses 27 through 32. They crucified two rebels with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, So, you who were going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, come down from the cross and save yourself. In the same way, the chief priests and the teachers of the law marked him along among themselves. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. Let this Messiah, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Those crucified with him also heaped insults on him. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today by Aaron Bowlerjack is Misunderstood Messiah. <clears throat> Here's what Aaron writes. To the very end, Christ's enemies misunderstood his identity and purpose. He was crucified between two violent, criminal insurrectionist. In the Greek, it's listus. Simple robbery was not punishable by death. Christ himself was misrepresented as a threat to the Roman political order by Jewish religious leaders whose authority he undermined. He was mocked by passerby who misunderstood his statements about tearing down the temple and rebuilding it in three days. He was challenged in words hearkening back to his own temptation in the wilderness to save himself and to come down from the cross. In the same way, the same religious teachers who had sparred and squabbled with Christ from the earliest days of his ministry falsely claimed that Christ did not save himself because he could not. But of course, the opposite was true. His enemies had no frame of reference for a suffering Savior. Messiah chose self-sacrifice over self-preservation, love over hate, and powerlessness over power. The vital question is, do we? The hymn, Hallelujah, What a Savior, by Philip P. Bliss, Bearing shame and scoffing rude, in my place condemned he stood, sealed my pardon with his blood. Hallelujah, what a Savior. And from the 31st Psalm, verse 9, Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye wastes away from grief, my soul and body also. And this is your daily devotion for Wednesday, March the 29th. Have a blessed day.